Hello, good evening and uh, welcome to uh, Wednesday Reflection and Prayer Time. And uh, I apologize for a uh, little late uh, because of the technical problem and um, we are not able to come via Zoom. I do not know, but we have um, Rosanne and uh, Deb with us through Zoom, so you should be able to hear them. So today we are having only audio, but not uh, the video. Um, so I want to play, uh, today's special is all about um, the Vacation Bible School, the Virtual Vacation Bible School in the month of August, August 17th, 18th, and 19th. And the second part of today's uh, uh, reflection and prayer time is uh, promoting Awana uh, from the mid-September um, uh, time. So we want to begin with uh, uh, Vacation Bible School. So I want to play a song. Uh, this is Bolt, uh, Backyard Bolt Vacation Bible School. So let's... Uh, hear the song and then I will turn over to Deb and Rosanne to talk about uh, what does this backyard Bolt Vacation Bible School look like. right in your own backyard. Nice. Good place we'll be you. listening to some Bible stories. We've got some pretty cool origami and we'll add some other crafts to your to-go bag for some of our younger friends. As always, we'll be diving into the Bible, opening up God's word to see what he has in store for us. And did I mention that we have awesome songs by the baby I'm Susan a, Webb? I'm a, I'm a way walker. I'm dancing on the water. When the devil tries to shake me, I'll just play harder. Are you ready to bolt? Over to Deb and Rosanne. Hello, everybody. Well, summer 2020 is here. And it's unlike any summer any of us have ever experienced. The world, our communities, churches, and all families have been impacted by the presence of the coronavirus. Sadly, on-campus VBS for First Church has been canceled. We just could not envision a way to have 50-plus children plus 40 volunteers all on the campus at the same time and be certain that we were all being safe with social distancing. So, we adapt. Keep going, Miss Deb, because I can't find my stuff. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So, welcome to First Church Virtual VBS for 2020. It's called Bolt. We're so excited to announce that Bolt VBS is coming to your house, as Pastor Sam announced, on August 17th, 18th, and 19th. With minimal preparation, easy to follow instructions, and a video that leads your family step by step through each day, Bolt is designed to bring the fun and faith formation of VBS to your home. I can take from there, uh, Deb, if you want. I have it. The three-day virtual vacation Bible school includes videos with instructions for teaching Bible stories, crafts, and games. Bold curriculum is designed for ages four and up, and it can be done individually or in a group. So invite neighborhood friends and families to join if you feel comfortable doing this. Well, here are the Bible lessons for the three days with the big idea that is going to be taught. On day one, 
Parable of the Sower and the Seed, from Luke 8, 4 through 15. The big idea? I can listen to Jesus. God's word has to be number one in our life, and if we try to make other things more important than following Jesus and obeying his word, it can cause our faith to stop growing. Day 2, Jesus walks on water. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 22 to 26. The big idea is, I can trust Jesus. Look to Jesus and have faith in him. He will help us in our lives. No, I thought Roseanne was back on. I got it. You are? Okay, okay go okay. ahead. <laughs> okay. I finally got my computer to work. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, day three, Jesus chooses his disciples to, and he can follow Jesus. Jesus prayed and God told him who could pick up the 12 disciples. Jesus taught us that the importance of going to God with our requests and to never stop praying and reading his words of wisdom for guidance. These Bible lessons will sure get the kids involved and lead them towards a heart changing encounter with Jesus. And we'll be providing some of the supplies that you will need for the games and crafts and also some snaps. We'll also include some additional activity sheets for each day. And we'll let you know when the supply pickup day is. So if you have any questions and or would like to register, get some information, please use the comment section below and we will make sure to get that over to you. And you know what, Ms. Roseanne and Pastor Sam? We've had six people enroll already. They've already registered for BBS. Very good. We just sent the invitation out the other day, so I'm so excited. So please register. And if you need information about that, please, as Ms. Roseanne said, put it in the comment section and we'll get back to you. So each year in BBS, the students also undertake a mission project. This year, we are asking all of our VBS students to take on the challenge of helping the First Church Food Pantry help West Dallas families in need. And as part of VBS 2020, we'd like to invite you to plan a trip to the grocery store and let your student purchase some food items. Donations can be dropped off at the church when you pick up your bulk supplies. The food pantry is in need of the following box, dried cereal, canned tuna and canned chicken, canned soup, canned vegetables, canned fruits, noodles, rice, and spaghetti sauce. Get a couple of paper gar uh, grocery bags and have your VBS students decorate the bags with words of love, scriptures, and pictures that would be encouragements to the families. Include the bags in your del food deliveries. First United Methodist Church will, of West Dallas will use these bags for food when families come to the food pantry. Finally, finally yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Deb. Okay, and finally, send us your pictures. We want to see the creative ways you find to experience this virtual BBS. This is all new to us, so we hope you send plenty of pictures showing us all the fun and learning you do that those three days. For sure, for sure. After months of virtual learning, many children have experienced screen fatigue. With that in mind, Bolt has struck the perfect balance between video content and in-person games and activity. And best of all, Bolt is so simple. Bolt is more than just a video. It is an at-home, backyard experience. So please, please join us. It's something fun for everyone. And did we mention the great music by Ben Calhoun of the chart-topping Christian band, Citizen Way? Their hit song, Bulletproof, has almost 13 million plays on YouTube alone. And it's as if Ben himself will be leading your kids in worship. That's awesome. So ready, set, bolt. Bold VBS is the perfect quarantine-friendly solution for your family. 
please remember to use the comment section below this video and we will reply with all of the information that you need. Thank you so much. Uh, we praise God that we already have uh, six uh, kids who have uh, registered or enrolled for the Virtual Vacation Bible School. And also we invite you to um, promote the Vacation Bible School this year with your neighbors and some other people. And Deb was kind enough uh, to extend invitation to some of the churches in our neighborhood as well. Very few churches are offering uh, virtual vacation Bible school uh, this year. In the same way, like virtual vacation Bible school, our church also is planning to have um, the Awana that we started last year and it got discontinued. But we continued Awana uh, online. Uh, on a couple of uh, or more than a couple of Wednesdays uh, through Facebook Live. So um, from uh, September 16, we are also going to offer Awana online. So before we hear about all the details of Awana, let us hear the Awana theme song, which is very popular among all the children and the volunteers. Yeah. 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 First Church Awana Ministries first year did not end the way we had planned. We are so excited to announce the good news about the 2020-21 Awana Ministry year. We will continue to bless the clubbers and their families during these challenging times. We prayfully decided that we will not gather in person, knowing that the clubbers and families and Awana leaders may not be comfortable with in-person gatherings for a few months. So again, we'll adapt and we'll create different ways of holding the Awana club meetings for a while until it's safe to return to church on Wednesday nights and when we once again can meet in person. It is such an incredible joy to reach the clubbers with the gospel and to encourage them in discipleship. We will still lead and guide your children to love and to serve the Lord and to memorize God's word. We at First United Methodist Church of West Dallas are so, so excited about the wonderful Awana program that will guide the clubbers to a close walk with Jesus through knowledge of his word. To replace the face-to-face -face interaction that takes place in Awana, like gathering for music with Miss Roseanne and playing games led by Miss Dorothy, and the small groups where we learn and memorize our verses and the large groups where we do our Bible lessons, we plan to go virtual. We will use Facebook Live, Zoom, and the Marco Polo app to connect some of the classes. We will post videos on our church YouTube channel and we'll use email 
as another useful tool that will help us all keep connected. This is a perfect opportunity to invite all of your friends and your neighbors to be a part of Awana. If you didn't come to Awana because maybe church was just too bit of far of a drive for you, this is a perfect opportunity for you to come and join us. And like we said, invite your neighbors or some of your friends to come invite us also. There is club for everybody and for all ages too. Here is a couple that I can tell you about, Cubbies. Cubbies are for three and four year old kids, and we celebrate the um, spiritual potential of the preschoolers by helping them to develop respect for God and His Son and His Word. And I can tell you about the Sparks. Kindergarten is grade two. And in this group, we ignite the curiosity of early elementary age kids to learn about the people and events of the Bible building a foundation of wisdom for knowing Christ. And we and also we, have, oh, here we go, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> we also have the TNTs, Truth and Training, grades three to six. And this curriculum teaches kids the truth of God's word and trains them to follow him and practice his grace. And now Mr. Zan's gonna tell us about something new I'm so excited. Calling, calling all middle schoolers. Calling all middle schoolers. We have not forgotten about you. We are so excited to offer a class for kids in grades seven and eight called Trek. This new program challenges students to wrestle with three of the most important questions that they ask in middle school. Who am I? Why am I here? And who's with me? Students get to take a deep dive into the scriptures and answer these questions for themselves. This will allow for them to own their faith and discover what they actually believe. So if you know of any middle school students or you have some middle school students in your family, this is the class for them. So please enroll them. And Awana is a middle Awana is the ministry of the church that reaffirms that you are never too young to know and learn all about Jesus Christ. It reaches far beyond West Dallas and is impacting lives all across the globe. Its goal is to reach boys and girls with the gospel of Christ and train them to serve him. The Awana name comes from 2 Timothy 2.15 approved workmen are not ashamed. Each club is divided by age and aims to strategically reach kids through activities, Bible-based teaching, and small group time with friends. Join us every Wednesday at 6 p.m. beginning September the 16th. Make sure to mark your calendars so you don't forget. Also, please watch your email box and your mailbox for registration information. Our plan is to continue where we left off last March and then move forward into our new books. So even if you didn't come to Awana last year, that's okay. You can still join us. We won't be far behind. You will make sure to catch up with everybody. So please, please, please join us and join along. So if you wanna join our clubs and you need more information about Awana, and if you want to be a volunteer, please use the comment section below if you'd like more information about Awana and how you can become a part and learn about how Awana gives children the opportunity to know, love, and serve Jesus. Pastor Sam? Thank you so much. Um, Awana is... Uh one of our ministries, um, even I would say a signature, one of the signature ministries of our church that we launched uh, last October. And um, our church is committed to uh, continue this wonderful ministries. So um, thank you all for watching. And I want to close with uh, a time of uh, prayer at this point. And today we want to include Vacation Bible School in August 17th, 18th, and 19th. 
and also the Awana ministry for this year and next year, we want to include both of them in our prayer today. And before I read uh, the 15 points of COVID-19, I want to read a, a scripture, and that is the psalm for uh, this week. That is Psalm 125 that we reflected upon this past uh, Saturday and Sunday, and we continue to reflect upon through the online worship this week. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. From this time on and forevermore, for the scepter of wickedness shall not rest. On the land allotted to the righteous, so that the righteous might not stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their own crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evil doers. Peace be upon Israel. So these are the 15 uh, points for COVID-19. And then I will lead in a time of liturgy of evening prayer. Eradication of the deadly virus, progress in effective treatment, suffering of our normal work, isolation at home or stay at home and its implications. We want to lift up uh, very specially the youth and children who have lost the learning opportunities for several months. The amount of pain involved at multiple levels, needed resources economically, medically, scientifically, and academically. There are people who are trying to take their own lives because of high stress level. Healing and recovering of all the patients, and especially the COVID-19 patients. We praise God for the availability of technology and social media. The topmost priority for the entire world, and especially for our nation, is flattening and suppressing the curve. Unemployment and poverty level, lack of supplies, recovery of economy, national and global scale. All the healthcare systems and all those who are part of the healthcare systems and their well being. Preparing for our church for the storm and the calm. And today we want to include both uh, the Vacation Bible School in August and also Awana that is likely to begin from September. So a liturgy for evening prayer, and let us pray. May God be with all of us, and let us pray. We praise and thank you, O God, for you are without beginning and without the end. Through Christ you created the whole world. Through Christ you preserve it. You made the day for the works of light and the night for the refreshment of our minds and our bodies. Keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening and a night free from sin and bring us all to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we want to give you all glory, honor, and worship. Eternal creator of light, yours is the morning and yours is the evening and yours is the night. Draw each one of us to yourself so that there will be no darkness within us. All praise to you, our holy and triune God. In the communion of the Holy Spirit and all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ our Lord. Let us receive God's benediction. May God the Father bless us and keep us. 
May Jesus Christ the Son make his face to shine upon all of us. May the Holy Spirit grant us peace today and this night. Amen. Once again, thank you all for watching and uh, uh, apologies that we could not connect uh, through the Facebook from Zoom. I don't know. Um, something happened at the last moment. So uh, I will meet you all uh, in the next time um, for reflection and prayer time. And God be with you till we meet again. Bye now and have a good night.